Hi and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing another art journal page and I wanted to create a background with watercolors. And here I'm working in the Marabu art journal and I have primed the pages already with gesso. I'm just adding the watercolors in some areas and then I close the pages and just spread the color around. This is something we did a lot I believe when we were kids. When there's too much paint and water in the middle of my page, I just dry my brush and soak that up. This is a really fun technique because you always get a different background. You can try it with different color combinations and I think that could be really fun. I will speed up the process a little bit so the video doesn't get too long. When the layer with the warm colors is um, finished. I dry that with my heat tool before I go on top with the cool colors because I don't want to create mud on my page. This is something you have to be a little bit careful with this technique. It's also necessary to use gesso on the pages because if you just use watercolor paper the um, color will soak into the paper and will not spread around. You can use the same technique also with acrylic inks so you get a permanent background. I turn my spread around because I realized that I had my book upside down but I don't mind that. This is such an abstract background. It's not important in which direction I will use it. When everything is dry, I go in with some white gesso. And it's a heavy gesso because I need it um, very opaque. And I will blend in some of the areas. This changes the background from the symmetric one to a more uh, normal background. Of course, the result I had is really pretty, but it's nothing um, where I have ideas to create on. So I just use um, the gesso and blend some areas in. The watercolors will react with the gesso a little bit and you get some really nice pastel colors. Here you have to be also a little bit careful not to create mud. So don't mix everything too much. When I have areas I don't like, such as that violet blue one I'm working on right now, I just cover this up uh, until I'm happy with it. When this is completely dry, I go in with a stencil. This is one from Stamplorations and I want to add some gold embossing paste. And I have the one from Marabu. It's a really nice paste and as my lid is not closing very good, it's already a little bit dry, but that doesn't matter because that makes it easier to spread it on this bulky page.
And this is dry eye stamp, kind of a frame with flowers around my page. Here I'm using the brand new Inky Flower stamp set from my new release. And I use archival ink to stamp it. Normally I would use stays on because it dries faster on a gessoed surface, but my stays on ink um, is running out. And unfortunately I couldn't get it anywhere in Germany at the moment. I'm adding some white and black splatters to my background to make it look more vibrant. Splatters are drying, I color in the flowers. I have stamped them also to watercolor paper and here I'm using the Arteza Twee markers to color them in. The only paper that works really good with the markers is the Canson XL. You will find, as always, a link to my blog post in the video description and there I have close-up images of the whole page.
I am preparing an old book page for my sentiment I want to create later and here I just cover it with a thin layer of gesso. I have cut out the flowers and I cut it into pieces so that I could stick them directly into the ones I have stamped already on the page and I will not use um, a colored flower for every um, stamp I've done on the page. I just will add in three flowers. I use a glue stick to stick the pieces down as it's not such a mess in comparison to wet glue. I missed something on the left side of my spread and I decided I will color in one of my Inky Friends butterflies and I used the same colors that I've used already on the whole spread and then I will just cut it out and stick it to the page. Here I have my uh, prepared book page with the gesso and I'm going to emboss my sentiment with a metallic powder from WOW. And here is the finished page. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I hope we will see us next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.